Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lina back with another video. Today we are going to be comparing Waves plugins versus FabFilter plugins for editing your voiceover to make your voice sound really nice. Now when it comes to the FabFilter plugins, we're running Pro Q3 to remove any bad frequencies from my voice. Then we're running Pro C, which is a compressor. And then we have another FabFilter Pro Q3 to DS and to add a little bass and a little bit of high end back into the voice. So when it comes to the Waves plugins, I currently have the Waves F6 equalizer turned on and we're using that to remove any bad frequencies from my voice just to make it sound a little nicer. After that, we have the Waves Renaissance Vox or the RVox compressor. This is a great easy compressor. And then we are going to add another one of the Waves F6 equalizers. We're going to add a little bit of bass, a little bit of treble, and then we are going to go ahead and use that to DS as well. But we're going to compare the two. We're just going to play these clips, and it'll show you on the screen which set of plugins are being used, the Fab Filter or the Waves, and you can hear how they sound and then decide which one actually sounds better. We are going to go ahead and start off with the Fab Filter plugins first. We'll play a small clip, then we'll switch over to the Waves plugins, then back to the Fab Filter, then back to the Waves, then back to the Fab Filter, so you can hear each one a few times and decide which one you like better. If you think there's much of a difference, I try to get these matched up as closely as possible to sounding the same, so let's go do it to it. Here come the Fab Filter plugins first. As you can see, this event does have six lock-ins. There's a total of 100 races. Once you finish race number 70, you're gonna win the Lamborghini CS63. That's the little car you can see right there on the screen. Let me move myself so you can get a better look at it, but that is the prize car right there. And you will acquire that at race number 70. As you can see, this event does have six lock-ins. There's a total of 100 races. Once you finish race number 70, you're gonna win the Lamborghini CS63. That's the little car you can see right there on the screen. Let me move myself so you can get a better look at it, but that is the prize car right there. And you will acquire that at race number 70. As you can see, this event does have six lock-ins. There's a total of 100 races. Once you finish race number 70, you're going to win the Lamborghini CS63. That's the little car you can see right there on the screen. Let me move myself so you can get a better look at it, but that is the prize car right there. And you will acquire that at race number 70. As you can see, this event does have six lock-ins. There's a total of 100 races. Once you finish race number 70, you're gonna win the Lamborghini CS63. That's the little car you can see right there on the screen. Let me move myself so you can get a better look at it, but that is the prize car right there and you will acquire that at race number 70. So there we have it, that's a very basic plugin chain. We're only using a couple of plugins for each thing. You really don't wanna do a lot for voiceover, you just wanna remove some bad frequencies, DS a little bit if your S sounds are harsh, maybe add a little bit of bass and treble, and just compress to adjust the volume to keep the volume controlled. We don't wanna be compressing to give it that like unnatural smash smushed radio sound. When we're doing voiceover, we want to try and make our voice sound as natural as possible and keep it that way. So this is the type of setup you want to run. Honestly, I think the Waves plugins and the Fab Filter plugins both do an excellent job. If you check out the pinned comment or the video's description, I'll have some links in there where you can get the Waves or the Fab Filter plugins. If you happen to buy any of the Waves plugins, those are affiliate links, so that would help support my channel big time. If you buy any of the Fab Filter plugins, those are not affiliate links, but they are very good plugins. They're just a lot more expensive. Most of those Wave plugins are probably around 20 or 30 bucks each, especially if you buy a couple. There's usually those deals over at Waves. And if you buy the Fab Filters, they're actually almost 200 bucks each unless you wait till Black Friday. Now on Black Friday, when Fab Filter has the sale, you can get a couple thousand dollars worth of plugins for like three, 400 bucks. So Black Friday is the time to shop for Fab Filter plugins because you will get a really, 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 really crazy deal on Black Friday for Fab Filter. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lightning out. See ya.